So there are a lot of memory tests, including things like the MOCA, and at the end of the test we get a little score. People are often very interested in seeing what their score is or what their family member's score is. And I think that sometimes people put a lot of stock in these tests to kind of help with diagnosing certain conditions or telling us how severe certain conditions are. But maybe they're not really meant for that. So here's an example of a memory test and it's called the mocha. Um, so mocha usually makes us think of a delicious coffee flavor, which it is, but it's also the name of this test. Mocha stands for Montreal Cognitive Assessment. And there's some great things about this test, which I use almost every day. It can be administered very quickly. So it usually takes less than 10 minutes to do. All you need for it is a pen and the paper test. You can adjust the scores of the tests for people who are living with certain disabilities like visual impairment or um, a motor disability or, you know, where it's difficult to write. So there are a lot of great things with this test. So this test is pretty sensitive for Alzheimer's disease. That means that if someone has Alzheimer's, chances are they will not score above 26. Similarly, if your score is 26 or above, there's a good chance that you don't have Alzheimer's disease. But when we talk about a test, we also have to talk about how specific it is. And just because somebody scores below the cutoff score of 26 out of 30, doesn't mean they automatically have Alzheimer's or another type of dementia. So the test is less specific than it is sensitive. That might be hard to understand, but the bottom line is that if your score is above 26 out of 30, chances are you don't have Alzheimer's. If this person's score is below 26, they may have Alzheimer's, but they may also have other conditions like mild cognitive impairment. Um, they might have other intellectual challenges or learning disabilities that affect their score. They might be depressed. They might be extremely anxious and that affects test performance. They might be in a delirium. The list goes on and on. So we can't really just do this test and then diagnose dementia. We have to look at the whole person. What's really important in dementia care and diagnosis is looking at the whole person and really considering the day-to-day -day function. Function is kind of the term that we use for people's activities of daily living. So things like shopping, banking, cooking, figuring out medications, and then also the more basic ones like bathing and dressing. That's really important in making a diagnosis of dementia. We also have to consider a person's education level, their age, and other factors like their other health issues and medications. That's what makes geriatrics so exciting is it's kind of like figuring out a puzzle. So I love tools like the mocha. I use the mocha almost every day, not just to make my coffee taste better. It is a wonderful resource to have and it's one piece of the puzzle. It helps me to put everything together. So if your doctor wants to do a mocha on you or your family member, then now you know how it should be used. If you want to know more about geriatrics or dementia, go to our website, www.therinkle.ca.